Hey boozers, I'm back. This time I have something from Village. Now I've been meaning to do this review for a bit, but I just haven't had the time. I've been doing all these other ones, so I'm gonna do this in a short. So we've got the Village Lemons or Village Squeeze. It's a lemon berry hells. So it is a collaboration between Village and a gelato place in Calgary. It was love at first sip. We've we never met a more dazzling, brilliant brew. Our squeeze charmed us with the smooth Bavarian malt, teased us with lemon and raspberry, kissed us softly with hops, told ourselves this may be too good to last. So for now, drink it in. And again, it's out of Calgary, Alberta. And I completely forgot the gelato place. So I am very sorry to the folks out there. Um, we've been talking a lot. And it's a gelato place out of Calgary. They actually are making an ice cream with this beer. And the uh, it's going to be a lemon berry as well. This was packaged actually on March 23rd, 2016. So it's just over a month old. I had it when I was about two weeks old and it was not bad. So let's pop this open and get a final review of what this is about and how it is. I'll be right back. So as you see, it's poured. It's clear so it is filtered. Little bit of head that's disappearing from it really quickly. And uh, it does look like it's a good spring slash summertime drink. The smell. It smells like a Hell's Buck. Well, I guess Hell's. I don't really know if it's a Buck or not. It just says Hell's. Very um, bitter sort of smell. A little bit of hops in there, a little bit of malts. So for the taste, cheers. And by the way, the smell isn't that appetizing, but, you know, overall, we'll see. So you get a tiny taste of hops, tiny taste of malts, and then the fruit comes in afterwards. And we have a little bit of lemon, a little bit of berry, sort of like a raspberry, um, almost uh, a small hint of a cherry in there. Um, overall, it's an easy drinking beer. It does feel a little watery. In fact, I felt if they put a little bit more berry in, into this, it'd actually be really good. Uh, the watery, not so much, but it's an easy drinking beer. It's something that you could probably complement part of your dessert with uh, if you really wanted to. Overall, it's not bad. Mm. I would actually give this... I give this about a 3.25 out of 5. It's decent. It's easy drinking. 4.8%. So you're not going to get a lot of alcohol legs to it. But it is a little watery. Not exactly to my style. But it, I said, it's an easy drinking beer. Something you can enjoy on a spring or summer day. And overall, not bad. So yep, 3.25 out of 5. If you like going out and having this kind of stuff, by all means, easy drinking. Go for it. So for now, folks, I'm PK saying cheers, stay frosty, and we'll see you real soon. Have a good night.